Well, hello. I'm going to do a quick uh, video on how you can use LT Spice to uh, double check your answers for the assessment homework, and um, for problems one and two. And 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 depending on time, uh, maybe I'll even do a video on how can you you can use LT Spice to check your answer problem three. Um, the other way you can use, and and one of the methods I use is I've also used MATLAB Symbolics. I know some people use Wolfram to do the integral calculations for computing the average in RMS. But uh, average in RMS is also built into LT Spice. So if you open up LT Spice, we're going to build up a, a circuit and uh, start here, uh, file, new schematic. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in a, just a test load, uh, put a resistor value in there of 1. Uh, let me change its value. Um, Oh, not there. Change a value right there. And we're just going to put a 1 ohm resistor in there. No, that's not good. Here we go. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to place a source. Um, I'm going to grab a voltage source. And we're gonna, I'm going to use a 169 volt AC sinusoidal source. And there's our source. Let me uh, change this. I'm going to go to advanced. This is going to be a sinusoid. Uh, no DC offset. It has a, a, a peak voltage and, and LT Spice takes it in peak of 169 volts. I'll put that in there. Uh, I'm going to stay in the US so we'll do uh, 60 hertz. But if you want to put 50 hertz in there, that is fine. Um, and, and I don't have to fill any of these other. If we're going to put a phase delay in there, we can do all that here with, with uh, the phasing. But there's our source. Uh, one last thing I want to do is I want to put a reference node in there. And we've got that. And let me hit escape to get that back. And I'm going to wire this circuit up. Um, again, you remember in one of my earlier videos, we can wire through uh, the, the, the components. And uh, come down a little lower. Now that's good. And there's our circuit. And uh, one last thing, I'm going to do a transient analysis on this. Uh, I'll do for one second. Uh, that should, well, let me do a transient analysis for, from zero to two seconds. That should give us enough sin, sinusoidal cycles to, to do a good average. And once I have that, we're going to hit uh, run up here. You see it there, we'll hit and we'll run the circuit. And it's going to do an analysis on that. Um, so I can just uh, look at the voltage across our source. And uh, we'll see we've got a nice sinusoidal waveform. And if I go and I put my pointer up here and then on the, on, on the keyboard hit control and then click the mouse, you're going to see we get an average and an RMS. So it computes our average and RMS. It's a little off. It's not, not bad. Um, uh, the average is uh, 512 microvolts. And for all practical purposes, that's zero. Uh, and so it'd be interesting to see what you got your answer to be. I hope your answer is zero. And it has an RMS. Um, theoretically, the RMS is 120, but it's off a little bit. And so this, but this is pretty close. So uh, depending on what you calculate, if you did not get numbers close to zero and 120 like they are here, then you might want to go and double check your uh, uh, your math and integration. So that's the that's the 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 sinusoid. Now we can also do. Uh, uh, let me first do the full uh, uh, full wave rectified uh, signal, and let me close this up. I'm going to break. I'm going to break this this wire. I'm going to just oh, let me let me close this one up. Maximize this screen. Uh, clip this wire out, and I'm going to put what's called an arbitrary waveform uh, or a behavioral model uh, voltage source in there, and that's going to I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and that's going to allow us to 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 do a model from here so I'm gonna label this node where's my node my node is right up here I'm gonna label that net and I'm gonna label it line because it's our line voltage and um, we'll put that up there so this voltage with respect to our reference point is called line. It's just a, a name I've given that. Now, the component I want to find is what's called a behavioral model voltage, uh, BV. And it's arbit if you see, it's called arbitrary behavioral voltage source. I'm going to put that in there. And we can create now a function of this. Uh, let me wire it up first. 
I'm gonna wire it to our load. And now I have to create what that voltage is. Well, that voltage is, if we're gonna do full wave rectification on this, it's an absolute value. So it's ABS uh, of the voltage of line. So uh, that's the function call we can do. And uh, uh, let me clean this graph up a little bit. There we go. And there, there we created our voltage. Now, if we hit run and we can look at the waveform now across our resistor. And we'll see if I, let me zoom in on one of these. We'll see, sure enough, it is, it is, it is a full, full wave rectified wave. Uh, and it's doing the functional modeling of taking the absolute value. Uh, same as before, go up here, hit control, and then click on that. And you'll see we get an average value of 106.76, and we get an RMS value of, of about 120, which hopefully is close to the values you calculated. Uh, now, th the, th the third one, because there was three parts to, to both uh, problems one and two, is to do half wave. Now, I'm going to leave that one up to you as an exercise, but if you go up and you look in the help topics, you'll see there's uh, different function calls for the behavioral model. Uh, we can do both a behavioral voltage and a behavioral uh, uh, current source as well. And there's, there's logical operators here. So we can check to see if that voltage is greater than zero, then we can say the voltage should be the voltage. So, so I'm going to let that as an exercise for you to, to utilize the logical operators within LT Spice to create the behavioral voltage for the half wave rectified model. Um, hope this helped a little bit. Uh, and, and again, it shows some of the powerful uh, features that you can create for 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 uh, different types of circuits and checking things in LT Spice. The other good thing about this is it allows you to easily create a uh, full wave rectified uh, wave without having to use diodes, which sometimes uh, really speeds things up uh, when you start doing modeling of more complex circuits. So uh, thanks for watching the video and have a great day.